today we are going to do something a little bit different. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about the shoes that I've been using all year long. So this year I've tried six different pairs of shoes for about two months of hard use on each pair. And I had the intention of finding out which shoes were the best on a budget. And I know with disc golf shoes, too cheap, tears up way too easy, really not worth it in the long run. So I'll put my budget at $70. I took advantage of some holiday sales. These deals aren't always available, but this is the best I could do with disc golf on a budget as far as shoes go. So to start out with, I have uh, the Adidas Terex East Trail um and the east trail gore-tex version i like to have two of the same shoe when i'm going with a waterproof shoe it's just my personal preference that the feel of the shoe doesn't change between dry rounds wet rounds hot rounds cold rounds it just kind of stays the same it gets a little warmer but that's what you pay for right um, up next i have terex twos these are the gore-tex version here and the non-gore-tex version here right up next, we have like the dark horse, like what the heck, where did this come from? This is an, a turf soccer shoe by Adidas called the Predator. It's the 19.3, and I believe they call it a 19.3 TF. Um, these shoes are very minimalist. The whole, the whole toe cap is like water resistant. You're not gonna get your toes wet in the dew. They're a very snug, like slim, low profile shoe. I love these shoes. And then up next we have the New Balance Crag Trail 1. Um, a trail running shoe by New Balance that it's it was okay. It wasn't terrible. So real quick we'll just look at the listings online if you're looking to get some shoes. Woo wee! And that's good. So the East Trails um, just pulling them up online. You're looking at $52 on at Kohl's for that pair to the left. $52 at Kohl's, $59 at Rogan's, $39.99 for the women's pair at um, Sierra Trading Post. Go to Sierra.com, we'll look at that in a minute. Adidas Terex East Trail GTX, which will be the waterproof warmer version of the shoe. Uh, it's going to be $69, ju just under that $70 limit. Um, I see some for, oh, that's not the Gore-Tex version. And if you like a boot style, that shoe comes in a boot. Um, you can get it up over the ankle for about $100, which I think is a great deal for a disc golf boot. Um, it's not my style, though. Going on to the Terex 2s, the non-Gore-Tex version of the shoe, you're looking at around $70, $59. Um, I see a lot of different prices. Here's one at Sears, BHFO. I don't know, that seems like it might be a scam because <laughs> it's not even the same shoe. So don't do that. So you're looking at right about $70 for the, Gore, uh, for the Terex 2 normal version. And the Gore-Tex version is going to run you about $90. So here's the thing. When shoes change seasons, Adidas Outdoors, which is a branch of Adidas, they will do an end of season sale. And that is how I got these. So I got these shoes for full price, $100 and $120, but with 50% 50 50 off for end of season deal. So. I got these shoes for 50 bucks and 60 bucks. So you can find those deals. These were kind of an outlier, um, but these deals are out there. You can get these shoes for a lot cheaper. Going to the next pair, uh, the Predators, the 19.3 TFs. These shoes are, like I said, very snug, very slim, but have great traction. They don't say uh, Continental or Terex on the bottom or traction on the bottom. I don't, I don't know what they make this sole outsole out of, but these, these shoes really surprised me. 
$25 at Shuvaka, $25.97 at Dick's, $37 at Dick's, $30 at ProDirectSoccer.us, $29 at Nikki's Sports. I played hard in these shoes. We're going to get into the soles later, but these shoes actually held up better than other shoes in this category. Um, several of the shoes in this category, actually. They're not the most comfortable for a really long day. I have a little bit of high arch in my foot, but <clears throat> these are pretty flat. You could put a sole in them. It would probably make the shoe tighter if you added an insole, but I would definitely add an insole if you planned on playing in these all day long. You can get these shoes very cheap. I got them for like $20, I think. I don't even think I paid $25 for mine. Before taxes, they were $20. Uh, if you have a Marshalls, <clears throat> I find random shoes like these and these at Marshalls. That's where both of these came from for me. I paid $20 for these, probably $25 with tax, and I paid $30 for these. So we're gonna move on to the new balances. Um, they were pretty meh. They were, they were, they worked. They're good shoes. They have traction, but they feel clumsy. They feel clunky. They don't, I don't know. I'm used to the really light, flexible. I don't like Keens and Merrells. They're too bulky. They're, they, I don't know. My feet feel bound up. They don't want to move. I don't like it. Um, these were pretty good shoes. Um, the, I don't know what their bottoms are made out of. Endurance, I don't know if that's what they call this tread or this rubber, but they had okay grip. There were a few times where I slipped. Um, I plant really far in front of me on my forehands. And so, I mean, it's not like I've never slipped in any of these other shoes, but on my forehands a lot, I was scared to really commit to my plant foot um, coming down in those shoes, just a note. But let's get into the wear on these shoes. So the shoes that held up the best out of all these shoes was this pair right here. These shoes never ripped, never tore. The, the tread is still almost as tall as it was when I bought them. Like, I don't understand how these shoes, I have two pairs of these. I, no joke, have a brand new pair. I went back after the first few rounds in these, I went back and bought another pair of these. Uh, second would be these. These wore out very slowly. They've still got mud in them. I just played a tournament um, and it rained the whole day, but these, the, uh, the tread is still great on these. Um, I tend to wear out my plant heel on the outside, on the inside of my plant heel and the outside of my toes a little bit. Um, I'm not a toe dragger, so my shoes don't really get thrashed up here, but these held up really, really good. Um, I just can't believe how well those, maybe it's the wow factor that's getting me because I don't think those held up any better than these, but those held up just as good as these East Trails, which cost, you know, 70 bucks. Um, and then you have the East Trail Gore-Tex version. They obviously have the same exact sole. I believe these have probably a little bit more than two months worth of rounds on them, but they're still in just as good a condition as the other ones. They're a little more flat right here and right here because like I said, they've had, you know, I've had to put the Gore-Tex versions on when there's weather. I don't want to wear my normal shoes out in the rain, but when it rains, you know, that dictates what kind of shoes I wear. So the two that are Gore-Tex have a few more rounds than the rest, but because they were worn outside of their two months. Uh, we'll go on to the other two. These hold up great. These provide just amazing traction, okay? They don't have um, the best design for disc golf, I'd say, because of the way the sole is just glued onto the outside of this foam. There's no wrap around to the top. It doesn't come up at all. So every time I hit and I plant this foot and then I go like this, it's, it's rolling that and it peels away at it. And you can see, we'll, we'll do a close up of it, but it's, it's just peeling away 
after just, like I said, a couple months plus a few odd days where it was wet and I had to put on a pair of Gore-Tex clothes and it was like a Gore-Tex uh, shoes. So not the best soles um, for disc golf, I'd say. Um, but if you catch these on a crazy deal, it'd be totally worth it. They're very comfortable. These are the lightest disc golf shoes I've ever had. Um, and then we're just gonna go onto these and say the same exact thing. These held up great. The traction on them is awesome. I don't slip. Uh, these were my first pair of shoes with continental rubber instead of, instead of the traction rubber. I loved them. I love the way they felt. I love the way they reacted to the ground, to the wet conditions. Uh, those kept my feet really warm. But if you're looking for something to last you a while, then these are probably not the ones because it just feels like that sole is pulling away on, on both shoes. The uh, the right shoe is just peeling away a little bit. The foam is starting to wear out. It's just it's not the best. Not a, not a great design. And finally, these like I said, they haven't really torn up. Uh, they're designed the same way as these. It's just kind of glued down on top of foam. It doesn't wrap around. The shoe doesn't sit down inside the outsole. So. And honestly, these are holding up better than the, the Terex 2s, and they're twice the price. So if you want the light um, feel on your feet, these are about the same, a little heavier feeling maybe, a little stiffer, I guess, I don't know. Um, maybe go with these. The only thing is, I don't believe there's a Gore-Tex version of these shoes. So if you're like me and you like to have a normal version and a Gore-Tex version, just so that there's always the same feeling on your feet, then that's not an option. All right, let's talk about features. Obviously, the Terex um, 2s, there's going to be a Gore-Tex version, right? That's a feature. That is available in this shoe. It's a feature you have to pay extra for. Um, but I don't like cold feet. Um, I don't like wet feet. I don't like the way waterproof socks feel. So I like Gore-Tex shoes. When I buy a pair of shoes, I waterproof them. If, it, if they're supposed to be, if they're supposed to be waterproof, I get Scotch Guard. I coat them down, let them sit for a couple days before I ever wear them, and then they're good to go. A month or two later, Scotch Guard them again. Uh, I play. I tend to play a lot of morning rounds in the dew. Um, or in the winter time or the rainy season in the Delta here in the Memphis area, we get, you know, a couple months where it just rains every other day a year. Um, so it's good to have Gore-Tex shoes or waterproof socks and I don't like the latter. So next feature I love that was just completely why I looked at these shoes. And then this shoe sparked the idea for this video. I bought these at the beginning of the year. Where I play, there is this grass that drops these little pods that stick you in the ankles and they go down in your shoes and they stick inside your socks and they stick inside the shoe and you can't get them out, especially like mid stride, trying to get to your lie, trying to get to the next hole. It drives me bananas. These shoes almost completely eliminated that with just this elastic sock part of the shoe. The fact that they go up and they're just stuck around my ankle like that is awesome to me. I love that. I wish all my shoes had that so bad because that keeps leaves and trash and just the stupidest little burrs and stuff like that out of my shoes. Um, I really, I'm really surprised at how much I like these shoes. These shoes are awesome. Very awesome. The thing I would say the only drawback is the, how thin the sole is. Um, I'm sure that's a plus when you're playing soccer, but when you step on a really sharp rock or something, it doesn't poke through the shoe. It doesn't penetrate the rubber, but it it definitely you definitely feel it more, especially if you have like a heel strike on something unexpectedly. You'll feel it a little bit. I just can't. I'm blown away with $25. $25. And I've had disc golf, these shoes have been the same pair all year, uh, given I only wore them for a couple of months. But 
I have another pair in the house that's gonna, I'll be using these shoes for a while. If we just go to, um, this is a site I like to use to find deals. It's, if you sign up for your, uh, put your email in, you get some sort of coupon, I believe, but they're having a clearance sale right now, 75% off, okay? And then we're gonna go to brand. We're gonna do Adidas Outdoor. What does Adidas Outdoor even mean? All right, there we go. We got some Adidas Terex shoes. A AX3 Gore-Tex right now. Waterproof. AX3s, probably one of the best shoes I've ever owned. I golfed in AX3s all year last year. Um, they were so good. I bought them every year. I do a Black Friday and I'll buy shoes for the next year. That's how I got these. That's how I got those. And that's how I got my AX3s. I was golfing in my AX3s from Black Friday of 18 all the way through 19 and black and used them into 20 when I started using those East trails. Well, that's it guys. These are the shoes I tried all year long, two months per pair. Um, like I said, if I had to pick a shoe, it would be the East trails of the ones I tried this year. Um, if I had to pick a budget, if I just had to get the cheapest shoe I could, man, I would just go get two pairs of these. These things are awesome. Um, if you're playing long days, that's the only setback for these, I believe. The only thing I could think of that is a negative on these is the, um, the stamina, I guess, of your foot. Like they don't support your foot very well. They're very flat. So again, we've got East Trails, East Trail GTX. We've got Terex 2 GTX, Terex 2 Predator 19.3 TFs, and New Balance Crag Trail 1. All right, guys, stay tuned. We are going to review these next. I'm gonna go film this tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be cold, so it'll be a good time to try out the Friction Warms. The frictions worked great for me. I played a tournament, it rained all day long and I used them for my practice round in very cold weather. I was surprised at how little to none it affected my throws. It's almost a cheat sheet uh, for grenade shots. It protects your fingers really well for grenades. Um, this is the small one, if you can't tell my hands busting out of it. I got the wrong size initially, the real size is in my bag in the house it really protects your hand for from the damage of a grenade um i threw several grenades in practice and i liked it so stay tuned we're gonna play around with those on uh jomez beat me to it i got this dice like a month ago and i just sat on them and i never put my video out but hey it's it's a compliment at least i know i had a good idea right i don't have big germ and nate sexton but i do have disc dice so please come watch my videos